Hi, are you okay? My name's Richard. How are you doing? Okay. Hello, Richard. Katie, nice to meet you. It is the 65th anniversary of the Munich Air disaster, and we've got wonderful Richard to tell us a little bit more about it. So we've actually put a few of the artefacts out today here just to give you an idea of the types of plays that were on that team. Well, Manchester United were actually the first English club to actually be represented into the European Cup. So Matt Busby, who was our pioneering manager at the time, wanted Manchester United to be represented in Europe. He defied the FA and he took this club into Europe. That shows straight away Manchester United in their own lane and doing things that people think are impossible. To be the first team to be in the Europe Cup, I think it's very important. They were playing Red Star Belgrade in the quarterfinals. They won 2-1 at uh, Old Trafford. We went over to Red Star Belgrade for the return leg and the game finished 3-3, so we qualified for the semi-finals. Team was very buoyant. They were coming back to Manchester. Sadly, at the time, planes couldn't fly all the way back. We had to refuel. As the uh, plane was being refueled, the weather started to deteriorate a little bit as the snow was coming down. They had three attempts to take off. Sadly, on the third attempt, the plane lost power towards the end of the runway because it hit a patch of snow and slush and ice on the runway, skidded off and hit a, a tree, hit a house, hit a fence, broke up into pieces and sadly 21 people lost their lives on the night. Seven Manchester United players. I mentioned 21 people lost their lives, seven Manchester United players, but 15 days later, we lost the best player this world would have ever seen. His name was Duncan Edwards. He was a 21 year old lad. And we have here a letter that was sent to Duncan Edwards while he was in the hospital by one of his fans. Would you like to see that? Yes, please. Yes. Yeah, how does it feel hearing that it's a letter and rather than the social media post that you girls receive, it's a bit more personal, isn't it, having the handwritten letters? Yeah, it feels uh, like obviously it was such a tragic event. Um, so to be like interacting with artefacts from, from that um, it's just really sad and really tragic. I'm so glad to hear you are getting on so well. Keep it up. Yesterday I went to my first football match. What a novelty. It was Swindon versus Gillingham. I would have enjoyed it more if Gillingham had won. That is really personal. It's, good, isn't it's it? like a diary it's entry. Yeah. Exactly, yes. Just a little bit of a poignant story on uh, Roger Byrne, who was Manchester United's captain. This is his cap. This is an mm. England cap, by the way. Now, Roger Byrne, just before they actually flew off, his wife found out that they were expecting their first child. Unfortunately, Roger never got to meet his first child because he lost his life at Munich. I want to actually uh, just concentrate a little bit on the boots. These boots were actually worn by Tommy Taylor, who was a, uh, a great goal scorer for Manchester United. These boots were recovered from the crash site of that night. And they wow. were the boots he would have worn on that particular day. Obviously, we've spoken about the football boots. Was there anything else that was Yes, there, the there was plenty of items that were recovered from the, uh, at the crash site. Child's toy that was recovered. Now, Harry Gregg, who was our goalkeeper at the time, uh, he was a bit of a hero that night because he uh, got away from the aircraft, but then went, kept coming back in to rescue players. Sir Bobby Charlton, he, he rescued Sir Bobby Charlton, pulled him out of the wreckage. It said before Munich, Manchester United belonged to Manchester. After Munich, Manchester United captured the imagination of the world. That's why we have that fan base that we have. That's why yeah. you're all playing for the greatest football team ever. For us, in a privileged position to be able to actually look at some of the artefacts and be taught through them and learn such insightful information is great experience and I think just brings us even closer to the club. It's been so eye-opening um, learning about it in depth but to get a chance to see some of the artefacts from the wreckage and really kind of go deep on some of the stories and, and what actually happened on that day just highlights how tragic it was. It's very sad that they were quite young. I feel like everyone just remembered them as heroes 
one of the stories was that the keeper went in and tried to save as many people as possible. I think it just shows the togetherness and really what Manchester United is about. I think it's so special for me, the girls, the staff, that we can be a part of the club on this anniversary occasion. And our aim is to make the club proud, but more importantly, make the Busby Babes proud.